So hi everyone and welcome to Tarot Tech. Um, so in this video, we've looked at the part one, which is chapter two, which is into devices. And we've also talked about sensors. And in sense, just a recap, talked about its senses, its environment, and sends it to the computer and it's done by converter. Today we'll be talking about direct data entry devices. When we talk about direct data entry devices, we're talking about devices that are used to input data into a computer without the need for very much and if any human interaction. So they are used to input data into a computer without um, the need of any human interaction. In fact, the, the, use, the human interaction is very, very minimal. Okay, and a good example is your barcodes and etc. Okay, so let's talk about them one after the other. The first one is the card readers. Okay, we have the card readers, and let's start. Let's start with magnetic stripe readers. Now we will talk about the magnetic stripe readers. They are used to read informations on the magnetic stripe found on. Okay, for example, the back. Of a credit card or a debit card okay the stripe contains that useful information such as the account number the sort code expiring date and of course um, the start date okay now this is what we are talking about the magnetic stripe right here and I think I also have that as well so in my card I also have it right here right it's an access bank card I think I have to just <laughs> inside. So you can see this, right? This is the magnetic stripe. So when they swipe it, they can use it to swipe it in, right? They swipe it, um, they swipe it in. So that is what the magnetic stripe reader does. It's, it reads information on the magnetic stripe, right? Found on it, okay? For example, on credit cards um, for use at ATMs or even your your electronic phone transfers at point of sale, talking about um, the machine, okay? Um, for security devices, they are used to allow entries to build it. So it's like a card, right? It's usually like a card, and they just swipe it in, and that gives them access to their buildings, to their hotel rooms, okay? That's what the, that's what the magnetic stripe is all about. They just read information that are found, that information is found on this when it's been, when it's been um, swiped, okay? That's what, it, that's what it does. And now, now we know the users. What are the advantages? Quickly. Now, the advantages is fast entry. Okay? Rather than we type in the information, it reads the information right here. Okay? It's error-free. We will talk about error-free because there is no typing that is involved. Okay? And it's secure. Right? It's secure because the information is not human readable form. You can't read the information here. But the information here until you swipe it, right? It prevents. It also prevents access to um, restricted areas. Okay, it's not affected by oil, water, or moisture, or any form of moisture, which is actually a good, um, a good advantage. Uh, there are no moving parts. Okay, so um, so it's physical. It's very robust. Okay, very robust means it can be able to um, it's some it's, it can be able to handle right. Not something that can be um. Um, damage easily. Okay. Now, disadvantages on the other hand talks about if the magnetic stripe gets damaged due to exposure to a strong magnetic field, then probably the data is going to be lost. So take note of that, right? Take note of that before probably you do anything with your card. Okay. Then um, it doesn't work at a distance. So it means that the card has to be in a form of close contact, right? It has to be in a form of close contact um, with the reader. So you have to actually put the reader right there to swipe it in, to actually read it. Now, because the information is not human readable, this can be a disadvantage in some applications as well, okay? The next one is the contactless debit card readers. When we talk about the contactless debit card readers, they allow customers to pay for items 
what up to a certain amount without entering their pins. Now, my card is not a contactless, but it's just like a card, right? It's just like the ATM card, but the difference is that right here, your ATM card, in the opposite direction, you're going to see something like this. I think it's like a Wi-Fi signal. So what happens in, in the, the EFT and POS, you can just put it like this on the machine. Put it like this. Let's say, for example, this is the machine, right? Okay, I know, right? This is the machine. Let me show you what it is. So let me just show you the machine. So you can look at, you can look at it Why I imagine. So the EFT POS. So you can actually look at it and you see what I'm talking about. So this is the machine we're talking about, right? I want to give you a good example of um, what it is. Okay, so this is a good example of what I'm talking about. Now, can you see that? Now, in this case, this is contactless. So this is how the machine is. And then you put it like this, right? It has to be in close contact. You see what's happening. Also, your phone as well, if, they, if you have it in it, you just put it like this and it's going to read it, right? It's going to read it and your, the um, transaction is going to be authorized immediately. But the limit, the limitation is that it has a certain amount. <coughs> it has a certain amount. So it simply means that not all the informations right there, not all the information right there um, is going to, uh, not all, like the amount there is limited, right? So and the, the whole reason is um, we'll talk about its advantage and then you know why um, that is designed to be like that. Okay, so um, we know what it is right now, right? So it allows um, customers to pay item what to a certain amount without even entering their pins, okay? Now, like I said, they have a small chip. This is the chip right here that emits that video wave embedded in them. Now, the card is held within a few centimeters, right? A few centimeters, a few centimeters embedded in them. Now, watch this, right? Let's go back to this. Now, you see what the back card is? Now, notice that it is being placed here. So, you see this? So, it's going to be the, that is if you have that Wi-Fi um, on your card, right? When you put it like this, Depending on the structure of the card is right. So when you put it like this, it's going to read it, etc. 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 So obviously it's just like this, but it has um it's a little bit different um than this, but still the same um thing. Okay. Now the terminal picks up the signal from the chip and allows the transaction to be authorized. Now, what are the steps taken? Now the customer will look out for the contact next symbol, which is this right here on the terminal card. The shop assistants will enter the amount of payment. Okay. The card reader informs the customer to present their contactless card. The customer holds their card close to the card reader. Okay. They hold it close to it. Some could be this, could be that. And the terminal will indicate that the card has been read successfully. Now, what are the advantages of this? It is a faster transaction. A faster transaction. Okay? The fastest transaction, which normally takes up to like 10 seconds, um, as opposed to probably like 30 seconds using a magnetic stripe reader. Because a magnetic stripe reader, now this is a magnetic stripe reader. This right here. Your ATM cards are magnetic stripe readers because of the stripes right there. But your cornerless card your Wi-Fi card and your contactless cards, okay? Now, the contactless card uses what we call a 128-bit encryption system to protect the card from any form of hacking. Customers do not have to worry about typing errors as such as in inaccurately, um, incorrectly typing in a PIN. You don't have to worry about that, okay? Retailers no longer have access to customer credit card information on um, 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 have um, access to customers' credit information, or so that um, show that show him to see if he or he, to see the pin he or she is typing in. Okay, the chip in the contactless credit card responds to payment terminal readers with a unique number. 
used for transaction only. It does not simply transmit the customer account number. This number is also what encrypted. Now let's look at disadvantage quickly. For disadvantage of using the contactless credit card, okay, they are more expensive, okay, than your normal or debit card. Okay, they are more expensive. It, so when you're going to the bank to purchase the contactless, it's quite expensive. Now, a thief with a suitable reader could monitor uh, your contactless um, card transaction while standing at the counter with you or just behind you. Okay, and also it reduces the risk considerably. However, because you don't have to type in a pin. So somebody standing um, behind you could not steal your pin and use it. Okay, so they could actually take your card. So you have to be careful. They can just monitor you um, and then probably get your card, steal your card from you. And knowing fully well that um, you don't have to type in a pin, so anybody can actually use it. So you have to be careful with it. Now, can take money twice if the customer uses it as a cheap and pin card. One is contactless, the other one is cheap and pin. So probably you tried it and now you're using a cheap and pin, it can actually be a disadvantage because probably you can debit it twice. Another disadvantage, like I said earlier on, is transactions are usually limited to a small maximum values. Okay, you could have like fifty dollars in it. Okay. Transactions have been carried out in some countries without cardholders being aware of this, why they're just standing in the payment queue. So that can actually be a disadvantage. Now let's talk about the cheap and pin reader. Now the cheap and pin reader are similar to smart cards, but are used at your EFTPOS terminals. Okay, now this has slot into which the card is placed and the chip is read. And the card is entered using a keypad. Now, you're wondering what's the difference between the chip and pin reader and then the magnetic stripe. Now, like I said, you can use the magnetic stripe, it's still the same difference. The only difference is that for the magnetic stripe, you can actually use it for hotel rooms as well. But the chip and pin is strictly for transactions. Just want to make that clear. Okay. Now, um, the pin is, like I said, the reader also has a small screen which gives instruction to the operator. That's similar to the contactless system, except for two points. They're just similar to the contactless, except for two points. The customer has to key in their pin to make a transaction. This card does not make use of your radio frequency technology. So this is another example of a chip and pin reader. I know you're getting everything confused, but don't be. Now, if you've gone to hotel rooms, you see that the card is usually in this form. Okay? And they have something like the way you can swipe in. Now, that's one level. But when it comes to, um, let's go back to the magnetic stripe so you have an understanding of what we're talking about. Now, when you look at the magnetic stripe, right? You are not necessarily putting in a pin. Know that. You are just simply, like my, for example, can also be a magnetic stripe. You just have to swipe in. And when you swipe in, it's going to read your information. Okay? And transactions can be carried out. So, in the case of credit card card, for credit or debit cards, for use at ATMs, you can just swipe it in and transactions will be carried out. But for the cheap and pin, you actually have to slot it in and then type your pin. Okay? Now, another thing is, let's look at the uses and advantages real quick. Where payments are made using cards, we use it. Restaurants, supermarket, travel, agents, etc. But the advantage is it's more secure than contactless. 
Why? Because pin typed in must match up with the pin stored on chip. It's more robust than the magnetic stripe, depth of security wise. Okay? In terms of fraud, needs to be careful to ensure PIN is not read by somebody else while you're typing it in. Okay? Video frequency. Okay? And we'll do that. The video frequency, we're going to do that in our next video. Okay?